Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we will discuss the components of good manufacturing practices in pharmaceuticals. GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practices in Pharmaceuticals. It means following the regulatory standards during the manufacturing of pharmaceutical products. There are several guidelines for good manufacturing practices worldwide, but GMP guidelines provided by WHO and FDA are followed throughout the world. These guidelines have recommendations for almost all departments of pharmaceutical firms like manufacturing, quality control, storage, and distribution. Good manufacturing practices in pharmaceutical has the following 14 components. The first component is quality management system. The quality management system is a comprehensive framework that outlines the processes, procedures, and responsibilities necessary to achieve and maintain GMP compliance. It encompasses the establishment of quality objectives, documentation control, change control, deviation management, and the handling of quality-related incidents. The QMS provides a systematic approach to ensure that all manufacturing activities are carried out in a controlled and consistent manner. The second component is Personnel The personnel component of GMP focuses on ensuring that all individuals involved in the manufacturing process are appropriately trained, qualified, and competent for their respective roles. This includes having documented job descriptions, training programs, and competency assessments. Adequate staffing levels, clear lines of responsibility, and effective communication channels are also crucial aspects of personnel management within GMP. Third component is Facilities and Equipment Facilities and equipment must meet specific GMP requirements to ensure the safety, quality, and integrity of the manufacturing process. This includes having suitable manufacturing areas, storage areas, and utilities such as HVAC systems, water purification systems, and clean rooms. Equipment used in manufacturing should be designed, installed, and maintained to prevent contamination, facilitate cleaning, and operate effectively. Fourth component is Sanitation and Hygiene Maintaining a clean and hygienic manufacturing environment is essential for GMP compliance. This component encompasses practices such as regular cleaning and sanitization of facilities and equipment, appropriate waste disposal procedures, and the implementation of hygiene practices for personnel, including the use of personal protective equipment and adherence to hand hygiene protocols. Fifth component is Documentation and Record Keeping Accurate and complete documentation is a critical component of GMP. This includes the creation, review, approval, and control of various documents such as batch records, standard operating procedures, specifications, protocols, and reports. GMP also requires robust record-keeping practices, ensuring that all relevant data, including raw material information, equipment logs, and quality control results, are recorded and retained appropriately. Sixth component is Raw Materials and Components GMP emphasizes the need for strict control over raw materials and components used in the manufacturing process. This involves establishing procedures for their receipt, inspection, sampling, and storage to ensure their identity, quality, and suitability for use. Adequate controls should be in place to prevent cross-contamination, mix-ups, and contamination of raw materials during handling and storage. Seventh component is Production process. GMP requires a well defined and controlled production process. This includes process validation to demonstrate that the manufacturing process consistently produces products meeting predetermined quality specifications. In process controls should be implemented to monitor critical process parameters and ensure that the process remains within defined limits. Any deviations or out of specification results should be investigated and appropriately addressed. The eighth component is Packaging and Labeling GMP extends to the packaging and labeling of pharmaceutical products. Packaging materials should be of suitable quality, compatible with the product, and adequately controlled. The packaging process should be validated, and labeling activities should comply with regulatory requirements, ensuring accurate and legible information about the product, its dosage, storage conditions, and any warnings or precautions. Ninth and most important component is Quality control Quality control is a crucial component of GMP and involves a range of testing and analysis activities. This includes the testing of raw materials, in-process samples, finished products, and stability samples to ensure they meet predefined quality specifications. Quality control laboratories should be properly equipped, staffed with trained personnel, and follow validated test methods and procedures. 
The tenth component is Product complaints and recalls GMP necessitates the establishment of procedures for handling product complaints and investigating any quality issues. This includes monitoring and analyzing product complaints, investigating their root causes, and implementing corrective and preventive actions as necessary. If a product defect poses a risk to patient safety, GMP requires the implementation of a robust product recall system. This involves having a documented recall procedure that outlines the steps to be taken in case of a product recall, including notification to regulatory authorities, retrieval of affected products from the market, and appropriate communication with customers and stakeholders. The eleventh component is Validation and Qualification Validation and qualification are important components of GMP to ensure that processes, systems, and equipment used in manufacturing are suitable for their intended purpose, and consistently perform as expected. This includes process validation, equipment qualification, cleaning validation, and analytical method validation. These activities involve establishing documented protocols, performing testing and analysis, and documenting the results to demonstrate the reliability and performance of the processes and systems. The twelfth component is Change control Change control is a crucial aspect of GMP to manage any changes that may impact product quality, safety, or efficacy. This includes changes to processes, equipment, materials, facilities, or systems. GMP requires a formal change control process that involves assessing the impact of the proposed change, documenting the change, obtaining appropriate approvals, implementing the change, and evaluating its effectiveness. The thirteenth component is Audits and inspections Regular audits and inspections play a significant role in ensuring GMP compliance. Internal audits are conducted by the company to assess its own adherence to GMP standards, identify areas for improvement, and implement corrective actions. External inspections are performed by regulatory authorities to assess compliance with GMP regulations and guidelines. These audits and inspections help to identify any non-compliance issues and ensure continuous improvement of the manufacturing processes. Fourteenth and last one is Training and Continuous Improvement Training and continuous improvement are ongoing components of GMP. Adequate training programs should be in place to ensure that all personnel are trained on GMP principles, procedures, and practices relevant to their roles. Regular training updates should be provided to keep employees informed about changes in regulations and industry best practices. Continuous improvement initiatives, such as conducting quality risk assessments, implementing preventive actions, and monitoring key performance indicators, help to enhance the overall quality and compliance of the manufacturing processes. By adhering to these components of GMP, pharmaceutical manufacturers can ensure that their products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. This helps to safeguard the safety, efficacy, and integrity of pharmaceutical products, protecting the health and well-being of patients. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.